Hello, Health and Harmony family. I'm Dr. Steinle at Health and Harmony Chiropractic and Wellness Center. Thanks for joining us for our weight loss class. This is our third class this year on what we're calling the journey, the goal to make this your best health year yet. And there's probably not a more popular topic than weight loss. Uh, you can go to Walmart and look at a shelf full of weight loss products, search the internet, and there's all kinds of pills, potions, programs, some dangerous, some good for short-term benefits, but we're gonna to talk today about what's, what's called a, a clinical professional program that's really designed to help supercharge your metabolism, balance your hormones, detoxify your body with the ultimate goal of losing weight. Now, this is about a lifestyle. So the weight loss program we're going to talk about and the concepts, they are beneficial not just for weight loss, but also for improved heart health, boosting your immune system, decreasing inflammation. And of course, inflammation is associated with pain, arthritis, cancer, helping to reduce your risk of diabetes, boosting your energy, helping your sleep. And I love this cartoon with this doctor talking to a patient and he says, what fits your busy schedule better? Exercising, eating well, and chiropractic adjustments, or being dead 24 hours a day? So we're gonna talk about lifestyle today. And at a basic level, we're talking about food by God. The number one food by God rule is you just eat food that God made. The further it is from nature, the more it is food by man and not food by God. There was a, a man, Jack Elaine, he said, if God didn't make it, I won't eat it. And if you don't know who Jack is, he's considered the godfather of fitness. This is him. Uh, as Mr. America, then later in life, this is him doing fingertip push-ups. And he had a quote, I really like this quote. He said, how do you build your bank account? So you think about your bank account. Well, you, you build your bank account by making regular deposits. And then hopefully over time, if you make enough deposits into your bank account, you'll have money to go out and do things and live the quality of life that you want to. And if hard times come, you can take withdrawals without going bankrupt. Well, he, he compared your bank account to your health account. So he says, how do you build your bank account? By putting something into it every day. Your health account is no different. What I do today, I'm wearing tomorrow. Isn't that interesting? What I'm doing today, I'm literally wearing tomorrow. If I put inferior foods in my body, I'm going to be inferior tomorrow. It's that simple. So the food by God plan, there's three basic steps. We're gonna talk about those three basic steps and then we'll go into five more steps. It was called the metabolic plan that go a little bit deeper. So at a basic level, we're eating foods that, that God made. And then the first step of this is that we eat fruit in the morning. So the fruits, those tend to be what are called high glycemic foods high or moderate, unless you're eating bears, Granny Smith apples, those are low glycemic. Glycemic is how quickly that food burns up in your body. If we spend our whole day eating high glycemic foods, and I, and I love this analogy, say we're out at a campfire and we're all sitting around, and if you take some dried pine needles and you throw those onto the flame, they burn really quick, it's intense, a lot of heat comes off, but then in a matter of seconds, that fires out and there's no long-term heat to sustain you. So high glycemic foods are ones that we want to try to avoid. So fruits, we can have those fruits, but we're going to have them just in the morning so we can burn them off throughout the day. The second rule is just eliminate, get rid of soft drinks, sweetened drinks, even juices, unless they're fresh squeezed. And the third rule, this food by God rule, is just begin to use more good fats. So this is as simple as when you're cooking, instead of using vegetable oil, try coconut oil, using olive oil on your salads, moving towards more of those healthy fats with fish, getting that wild caught salmon or halibut, choosing to put more chia flax seeds onto your foods, using avocado. So those are the three basic rules and we'll build upon those. This whole program 
is designed to optimize your hormones. And this is interesting with weight loss because you think about as a kid uh, growing up, most of us, we could eat pretty much what we wanted to. And, and a lot of us didn't eat well growing up. Uh, a lot of dyed foods, processed foods. And yet as a kid, we are fat burning, muscle building machines. And then as we go through life and as we, we get older and through poor diet, poor exercise, we see this shift in our hormones. We start seeing elevated levels of cortisol. Cortisol, you may have heard of, it's associated with stress. It's produced by the adrenals. So high cortisol in our body over time, that actually has the opposite effect that we want. It causes the breakdown of muscle. It stimulates the body to say, hey, let's store more fat, raises your blood pressure, causes water retention, and increases your hunger cravings. Second hormone that we look at with weight loss is human growth hormone. Now, growing up as a child, teens, or 20s, we produce a lot of this human growth hormone. It helps produce lean body mass. That's what we want, that lean muscle mass, which is just burning calories all day long. It helps to burn fat. It helps to build bone density. With poor diet, poor exercise patterns, over time as we age, we see a sharp decline in that human growth hormone. And then we become more of those muscle burning fat building machines. Another one's leptin. This is one that it tells your, your body that you're full, that you don't have to keep eating. Also stimulates your body to start to burn more fat. That's another one that will decline over, a, over our lifetime unless we're taking steps to help balance it and bring it up. Another component with a healthy weight loss program is managing your inflammation. Uh, inflammation is associated, of course, with pain, arthritis, cancer, also with water retention. And when you're highly inflamed, you just you don't feel like being active. You have low uh, energy levels, less likely to go out, exercise, and work out. We measure that inflammation with that C-reactive protein. That's a, a great measurement in the body. Also tied into that is your blood sugar. If you're somebody that's eating a lot of those high glycemic foods, those simple sugars that burn really quick, we'll see a high a, uh, hemoglobin A1C. And that just shows that your, your insulin levels are off. You're going to be storing more fat. You're going to get more of that abdominal obesity. And that's related to weight gain right, rather than weight loss. So exercise, fitness. I love this picture. Here's, here's a 24-hour fitness um, these guys are obviously going in to, to work out and outside of it, they, they've got these escalators. And instead of taking the stairs to go inside to work out, you can, you can see both these guys are, are taking the, the escalator up. So when it comes to weight loss uh, and, and exercise, the best form is what's called a high intensity exercise, high intensity exercise. High intensity, and we'll talk about what that is in a moment, it's been shown to optimize your hormones. So literally, when you do high intensity exercise, we see an elevation of that human growth hormone in the body. That's the one that helps us to build more muscle, burn fat. We see a reduction in your cortisol levels. That's the one that causes you to um, store fat, burn muscle. So we want to see a reduction of that. We see increase in testosterone. The other thing that happens with high intensity is that you increase your metabolism. You become more fat burning, not just while doing the exercise, but they've shown that you actually continue that elevated metabolism for a day and a half afterwards. Third thing is that you build more muscle with high intensity exercise. It helps to get the blood sugar levels. You'll see a decrease in that hemoglobin A1C levels, increased lung capacity, which it's become so important this last year with COVID, just healthy lungs, healthy breathing, healthy respiration. And the last thing is improved heart health. This high intensity exercise shown to increase the good cholesterol, the HDL, decrease the bad cholesterol, your LDL, decrease your triglycerides and help to, re to create a more healthy heart. So high intensity exercise, it's all about this afterburn. With traditional exercise, let's say you went for a, a long hike or um, a moderate jog, 
while that's very beneficial, after you finish the exercise, they've shown that you get this boosted metabolism, typically for a zero to four hour period. So you finish the exercise, you've got the benefit of the exercise, and then your body continues to burn more calories for four hours afterwards. However, with longer exercises, longer hikes, there can also be some stress put upon the body that they've shown that you can increase the body's output of that cortisol. So while you're getting the benefit from the exercise, some benefit from the increased metabolism, you also get some increase in cortisol, which long-term, that's the one that stores fat, burns muscle. High intensity interval training, on the other hand, they've shown that when you do that, we see an increase in that human growth hormone, increase in the testosterone. We also see this afterburn where for up to 36 hours, there's an increase in your metabolism. So think about it. That's a day and a half where your body's just burning more calories. High intensity interval training, just at a basic level, it's doing something at an intense level where, where it's, you're kind of going as, as hard as you can for 20 seconds to three minutes. So 20 seconds, a high intensity, and then you rest for that same period of time. And then you'll go again for 20 seconds, and then you'll rest for that same period of time. Some programs will do a longer period where you may push yourself for three minutes and then rest for three minutes. And then there's another form of high intensity interval training called Tabata. And that actually has a 20 second on and then you rest for 10 seconds, 20 seconds on, you rest for 10 seconds. And that whole program is designed around doing that eight times. So with high intensity interval training, what's also really, you could almost say magical about it, is that you're really shortening the amount of time that you're working out. So Tabata, if you're going 20, second, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, that's 30 seconds total. And if you're doing that eight times, you're really looking at four minutes total with that style of a workout to see an improvement in your hormones, improvement in your metabolism, uh, where you become more of that fat building, muscle burning machine. Uh, I love this cartoon. Um, this is how a lot of us think about exercise, exercise programs. These people obviously are in hell. And uh, it says, uh, okay, now three more, two more, one more, okay. Now, 5 million leg lifts, right leg first. And so a lot of times when we think of exercise, like, oh boy, here we go. I'm going to get into this long program. The nice thing about these high intensity intervals is that you can actually do them in a, in a short period of time. Some resources for it. Um, you can search YouTube. There's lots of videos uh, that take you through uh, different exercises. Uh, Orange Theory is this national chain, exercise chain. They focus on high intensity interval classes, CrossFit. Um, there's been a number of best-selling books. There's literally one book called The One Minute Workout that talks about how to do this in, in short periods during your day. Uh, another resource that a, a lot of uh, members of Health and Harmony patients have is Peloton. It's an exercise bike or a treadmill, and then they have on-demand classes as well. All of those are built around this high intensity interval training. Uh, metabolism. We're really looking at calories consumed versus the number of calories you burn, right? That's the simple weight loss formula. If you burn more calories than you consume over time, you will lose weight. And according to the Mayo Clinic, that kind of the magic number of calories is this 500 to 700. If you are burning 500 to 700 more calories a day, over the course of a week, you will lose one to one and a half pounds. So high intensity interval training, obviously incredible for burning calories and helping you continue to burn those calories for up to a day and a half after you do the exercise. Now we also wanna look at how do we use our diet to help increase our metabolism? And this is where we go from that food by God plan into the metabolic plan, the more detailed step. So the food by God plan, we're, we're eating foods God made, fruits just in the morning, no soft drinks, sweet drinks, bringing healthy fats into our diet. And by just doing that, I mean, your health is going to improve. You may have some moderate weight loss. 
Uh, you're gonna have more energy. The metabolic plan, though this is really focused on optimizing the hormones, boosting that metabolism, accelerating your weight loss, decreasing the inflammation, just with the ultimate goal of complete health restoration. So food, the, the metabolic plan, we get into what's called a modified Mediterranean diet. And probably have heard of the Mediterranean plan. It's really the, the number one diet plan in the world. There's lots of different diet plans, but the Mediterranean is just year after year considered the, the number one plan. The modified Mediterranean plan just takes it a step deeper for weight loss. So with the modified Mediterranean plan, our first step is that we're avoiding those high glycemic carbs, even if it is a food by God. So for example, and we've got this, this great handout, and if you'd like, we can email it to you. It's four pages, and it goes in and it gives you a list of high glycemic, uh, moderate, low glycemic, goes into a little bit more depth about this modified Mediterranean plan. But high glycemic foods, even if it's a food by God, like corn or potatoes, we're, we're just eliminating this when we have the goal of weight loss. The second step is we're only consuming one moderate glycemic index food a day. So a normal Mediterranean diet, you could have three, four servings of that a day. When we want weight loss and we're focused on weight loss, we're doing one a day. And so the moderate glycemic uh, things, those would be things like um, you could have oatmeal, uh, brown rice, uh, carrots, beets, yams. A lot of the fruits fall into this category as well. Um, once we get like cherries, pears, apples, bananas, and then we're focusing on low glycemic, you can have as much of the low glycemic fruits, vegetables that you want. The fruits that are falling into that category are going to be more your berries, uh, your Granny Smith apples, uh, getting into uh, lots of vegetables. Some of the vegetables that we focused on for those of you that did the detox program. Next step, eliminate all refined carbohydrates. Uh, this, is, this can be a hard one for, for many of us, but that's going to be your chips, your crackers, those things that are, again, getting away from food by God, more food by man. Weight loss, if we want to achieve it, we just we eliminate those from our diet. And then the fourth step is focus on good fats. So we talked about first just using good fats, substituting them instead of vegetable oil um, into your into your, um, your cooking. But now we're actually focusing on it. We're eating more of those macadamia nuts on purpose, avocados, bringing the chia seeds, flax seeds into our diet, because those are going to help us feel full, keep that blood sugar levels balanced and help optimize our, our hormones while improving our metabolism. And the last one is with that we're just doing a moderate intake of proteins. I don't want this to be confused with some of these keto diets out there. And, and I'm sure you know people, maybe some of you have experimented with this where I mean, they literally will have just bacon for breakfast and then a cheeseburger without the, the bread uh, for lunch and steak for dinner. And it's just high protein, uh, high fats, no carbs, no vegetables. And that's not what this is. We, we're still having protein, but we're, we're just having a healthy levels of protein. And again, if you'd like us to email you this, this just uh, send a note over to us at office at HHCWC, or just tell us next time you're in the office and, and we'll give you this, this handout. So with this modified Mediterranean, the metabolic plan, it really takes preparation. I mean, you gotta plan ahead, prepare for it, go shop for it and cook. Uh, it's, it's not something that you can just do last minute or flying by the seat of your pants. Our, our patients who have been the most successful with this will typically use Sunday to prepare for the week. And then as the week goes along, there's no surprises. They just, they know what they're going to have. It's already ready and, um, and they have great success with it. Now, no talk on weight loss uh, would be complete with also looking at your function, your overall health. You know, we obviously talk, what is it that controls all function in your body, keeps your body healthy? It's your, your nervous system, your brain, spinal cord, the spinal nerves are controlling the breakdown of food how you're simulating those foods, what you're storing as fat, what you're burning. Uh, you could literally go for a month without food, days without water, minutes without air, 
but when your nerve supply is cut off, you, you, you're legally considered dead. You, you, you don't survive when your brain and your body are no longer communicating. Uh, we all know what happened to Christopher Reeves. He went from Superman, fell off his horse, uh, was paralyzed, quadriplegic, kept alive with the help of a machine for a number of years uh, until he eventually passed away because his nervous system and his immune system were no longer functioning properly and he died from a common cold flu. Uh, this is from Gray's Anatomy. Every organ system and function of the human body is under the control of the central nervous system. And so in the office with our chiropractic care and working on optimizing the health of your body as it relates to, to weight loss and overall quality of life, you know, we look at keeping your spine and your nervous system healthy. One of the biggest things that we see is this text neck just the amount of time we're spending on our cell phones in front of the computer, where we begin to see that head go forward, a loss of the normal cervical curve. Normal healthy cervical curve looks like this, where you have this nice forward C shape to it. And once we lose that, as you can see in this picture here, this person's lost their curve. This is an MRI. And at the, the MRI shows the brain stem, this is the spinal cord, and there's constriction on that brainstem and spinal cord. Now, what's interesting is that when this happens, 92% of us are asymptomatic. It doesn't mean we're having headaches, numbness into our arm, pain, but yet it's constricting or interfering with the communication between your brain and your body and your body's ability to function at 100%. Uh, this shows somebody's x-ray pre, this is with corrective care, uh, this picture on the right where we're seeing a, a res restoration, restoring of that cervical curve, better health, better optimizing. And this person literally went from antidepressants, taking sleep medication, taking pain pills, and um, taking anti-inflammatories to being off of all of those as we restored that cervical curve. And what's interesting, especially some of you, we've had this conversation is that this isn't just something that we're seeing happening once we get 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s, but we're literally seeing uh, kids in grade school coming into the office, uh, middle school, that are having numbness in their hands, headaches, uh, incredible tension in their neck and shoulders because of this change in their cervical curve and what it's doing to their, their overall health and function. So just as part of any health program, weight loss program, just make sure, keep your spine checked, keep your nervous system healthy. If this is new to you, if you're, you're watching this and you're, you're not a part of the, the Health and Harmony family, get checked, go to a chiropractor, make sure that they're doing x-rays, somebody that's subluxation based, focusing on finding areas where there's misalignments or degenerative change that's interfering with the quality of that communication between your brain and your, your body. So looking at putting this all together and the, the journey, you know, how do we lose the weight that we hate? So we wanna first look at what are your hormone levels. Find out what they are. Uh, we have ways to measure those. Then we put a plan into place to optimize, get those hormones back in balance. We wanna boost your metabolism. I want a great way that we do that is through that HIT exercise and then eating foods that are also metabolic, that metabolic food plan that are focused to boosting your metabolism. We wanna make sure you have a healthy gut. That gut's where all the breakdown of food occurs. And if you have healthy gut bacteria and you're getting a healthy breakdown, you have less inflammation, less chance of having obesity, uh, weight gain. We want to make sure that your body's clean, detoxified. And then I, I love that modified Mediterranean diet for weight loss. Once you get to those weight loss goals, we can start backing off of it. Uh, not backing off of the plan, but backing off where you start bringing in more of the, the moderate glycemic index foods instead of one serving a day, two or three. And we just find that level where you can sustain it, still have a huge variety of foods to eat from, but we're following the guidelines of that Mediterranean plan. So program options, um, you know, this is something that you can do on your own. We love working with our, our patients on this too. Um, and, and we do either the whole program or just parts that fit best for you. First thing, get this weight loss test. And with this test, if we're seeing high C-reactive protein, high inflammation in the body, we also do this comprehensive food environmental sensitivity test. That's looking at over 200 foods and things in our environment from pollens to molds to see, are there things that are causing you to be inflamed? 
And it's really interesting. Sometimes if you see really high levels with, with certain foods that cause an antibody response, we just we have to eliminate those. Otherwise, you're in this perpetual cycle of inflaming your body. And again, that will lead to more weight gain. Making sure your body's detoxed. Uh, many of you went through the 10-day metabolic detox we did back in January. We also have this daily detox supplement that we like. Once you feel like you're kind of in a good rhythm, just something that you take just to help keep ahead, keep ahead of, of the, the detoxifying in your body. The Mediterranean, a modified Mediterranean diet. Make sure you have a good, good supplement, just a good multivitamin fish oil that you're keeping your vitamin D levels healthy. And then part of our weight loss program that we do is that we use over this 90 day period, it's a three month program, is that we also incorporate a medical food. A medical food's something that you use as a meal replacement. And we do three different types. The first medical food is focused on helping to make sure that you have a healthy gut, healthy gut bacteria, good breakdown of the food. Second then month is focused on inflammation, just getting those inflammatory markers really low. And then the third month, the third medical food that you, we use as a meal substitute is to manage those blood sugars, just to get that A1C into a healthy range so you're not having those food cravings. And then the last part of any good uh, weight loss program is just accountability. Whether we're holding you accountable or you're doing it with a, a spouse, a loved one, a family member, a friend, is that time and time again, studies have shown people who are successful have accountability. When we're left to our, just our, kind of our own devices, it's easy to fall off the wagon. But when somebody else is there and we're holding ourselves and them accountable, we have greater success. Uh, the weight loss testing, these are the things we look at. We're looking at that C-reactive protein, the blood sugar levels, thyroid, that cortisol we talked about, which again is the one that we wanna see uh, manage levels of that because high levels where you start burning muscle, building fat. We look at testosterone, estrogen, uh, the comprehensive food environmental sensitivity test. Again, that looks at over 200 factors in food and environment. And then this detoxifying. Um, we, we talked about this at our earlier class, but it's, it's really interesting because if we have these residual toxins in our body, they can even affect our central nervous system, become neurotoxins, and they can throw off our hormone balance where we're not being that muscle building, fat burning machine. Kind of an interesting piece from history. You, you may have heard of the Mad Hatter. Remember that from Alice in Wonderland? Well, Mad Hatter's disease was this, this real disease that back when, when um, these men were making hats, they were using furs and the way that they cured and preserved the, the furs at that time was using a lot of mercury. So then as these, these um, hatters got into make and mold and form the hats and they were heating up the furs, there were a lot of fumes that were being released and they, they got mercury overload and eventually they reached toxicity and they went mad, mad hatter's disease. And so that's, that's a little piece from, from history make, make more sense with Alice in Wonderland now too. Another one's estrogen. Obviously estrogen is important, but if we see that built up in the body and at higher levels that aren't getting detoxified or cleared out, that can lead to um, high toxicity, hormone imbalance, weight gain. And then this modified Mediterranean diet, just please email us if you'd like us to send you a copy of these, these pages and that information. Um, make sure you're, you're doing good supplements. And many of you are on our wellness essentials or Edison packs. Those are, those are awesome products. Um, if you're not on those, just make sure it's a good pharmaceutical grade because the most expensive supplement you can take is one that really is not breaking down and getting into your body where it can be used and utilized. Um, the meal substitutes we talked about, uh, we really like this 90 day program, first restoring the gut, then inflammation, managing your glucose levels. And then the last thing is that we just, we want this to be a lifestyle. And with our, our program, we recommend a, a 90 day, which at this point with 90 days, um, that puts us into summer. And a lot of us are, I know, are wanting to, to be ready for summer with our weight loss. Um, and then get into just more of a, a, a something down the road, down the middle that you can do with that Mediterranean diet. Uh, get tested um, and plan for success. That's the key with this. Uh, if there's anything we can do to help, please let us know. And again, thanks for just joining us for these classes. Our class next month is going to be on sleep and stress, uh, sleep stress tests. 
Uh, we appreciate you. Thanks for going on this journey and we'll see you soon. Goodbye now.